Whoa! Howdy there, and welcome to Motor Mike's Garage. I've got a video for you today that is very, very frustrating because we're going to show you how to level your deck on your Cub Cadet lawnmower. And it's frustrating because the deck leveling, leveling system on the Cub Cadet was apparently designed by a bunch of squirrels. It is absolutely horrible, but I'm going to go through it. And I, first part of the video, I'm going to show you real quickly how to actually level the deck. And then we're going to rip this thing apart. And I'm going to go through the different parts and failure points on the deck leveling system. Specifically for you, those of you who have the very common Cub Cadet deck dragging syndrome. That's when your deck is just dragging in the dirt. You don't know why. I'm going to show you some of those common failure points. All right, before you start anything, let's stop. The first thing to do when leveling your deck is to check your air pressure and your tires. Because a lot of times, I bet you half of you, Keith, you specifically, have just a low tire, which is causing the whole deck leveling system to be off. One side is going to be lower than the other. So check your tire pressure. And then next, what we're going to do, I'm going to do just a real rough leveling. This deck is way off. So what I've done, I've lowered it to the point that just one wheel is touching the ground. And then we're going to level it from there. And then we'll do a more precise leveling uh, system with some two by fours. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, get over here to this deck. So my first step, I'm going to show you just how far off this deck is. I can see right here, I lowered it where the front deck wheel is hitting the ground. That's the lowest corner of this deck. And you can see the back one's off a couple inches. So you can already see the back is off, but let's go ahead and check out the, the right side of the deck. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. We are way up in the air compared to the left side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my yardstick here. This is an official Chevy yardstick. Yep, yardstick is what we used to use in the 80s to measuring things. All right, you can see we're, we're good three and a half inches off per the Chevy yardstick. So I can see the right side is quite a bit higher. So what I like to do first is to start on the back of the deck. There's two adjusters, and the most important one is on the back. It's gonna be on the back left of the lawnmower up underneath here. So come to your back left, and but in front of the back left tire underneath here, I'm gonna get some light and we're gonna zoom in on that, and that's gonna be in our, our adjuster. What we're looking at is the back left rear of the deck, and we can see right there is our adjustment screw. Now, I have removed the wheel just to get a better shot for you so you can see the whole process. You don't have to, but it does help if you want to try to do it that way. All right, so what we've got, we've got a half inch bolt that bolts on our adjuster screw bolt. Then this here is an inch and a quarter. So what you do is you just loosen up that half inch bolt. Don't take it all the way out. And then the way you adjust it, you take an inch and a quarter and you can adjust it up and down from right there. Or what you can do here is take yourself a pair of channel locks. Everybody likes a pair of channel locks. I actually made it a little too loose. And so you can see right there, it'll go up and down just based on that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold it and try to get us to about four inches. So that's about half a turn. Then we'll go ahead and tighten her back up. So it's really that easy. Loosen the little nut and then screw around with the big nut. Turn it to the right to raise it, turn it to the left to lower it. So next what we're gonna do, we're going around to the front of the lawnmower and there's one more adjustment screw for the front of the deck. I know, I promised to move to the front of the lawnmower but I've gotta try something while I've got you in such a great shot. What happens if we take that little bolt all the way out? I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna go ahead and zip it all the way. Whoa! <laughs> all right, so what you can see here, this is the actual adjustment. So when you loosen that up, it allows it to go up and down and it rides on these little teeth right here. So that's what raises and lowers the deck. Kind of a cool system, but be a lot cooler if they had one on the other side too. So let's go around to the front of the deck. Okay, ladies, what we are looking at here is the front adjuster for the deck. And what that is, is two lock nuts that are pushed together to help hold it still. And it ties into a bar that ties into the front of the deck. Now what this does, it will raise and lower the front of the deck to level it. Don't go cranking this thing all the way down to the very bottom thinking it's gonna raise your deck due to your deck sagging. It's not gonna fix that. We'll talk about that in a minute. So what you do is first you loosen up the outer nut. You loosen that up. And then you go ahead and you, you tighten it or loosen it to raise it. I've got to bring mine up about half an inch. Now, if you're like me, 
and you get tired of that, I like using a little power tool action. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll undo the front nut <laughs> all the way, and then get in there on that deep nut. That should be about right. And then you go ahead and you get the main nut back on there. <laughs> you probably don't want to do that. So stick with your wrench, but it does work very quickly. All right, so I've raised it up and we've got it just about level. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you another method just to zone it in just a little more. So stay with me. All right, gang, I have to apologize because Mower Mike just lied to you. I told you that we would fine tune the deck level on this thing with some wood and some fancy stuff, but gang, I gotta admit, there ain't no fine tuning anything on a used Cub Cadet mower. This thing's so beat up, you're lucky to get each corner of the deck within an inch of each other. So take your yardstick, thank you Dr. Bob, the yardstick, and just measure each corner, try to get it fairly close. Some people say to have the front of the deck about a quarter inch lower, that way it hits the grass first, and nah, I'm just not buying all that, whatever you wanna do. Um, one note, I will tell you on that screw on the back left, that thing was a booger bear. Once I put that wheel on there, trying to get my big fat old arm in there to adjust it, just didn't work. So a suggestion is, if you're having trouble, measure the height of that back left corner and then take the wheel off and lower the jack neck back down so it's at that same height and then adjust it there because with that wheel off, you're going to have a much, much better access to that screw. So. All right, so that's how you level the deck. Next, let's have some fun. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this whole deck off here. I'm gonna show you some of the crappier design parts uh, that the squirrels <laughs> designed into this deck, what bends, and especially what causes it to sag with age. So stick around and ha let's have some more fun. And if you want a video on how to remove and install a Cub Cadet deck like I'm about to do, I'll post it down below. I've got a really good video. So let's go around to the other side. I've got the Cub Cadet deck yanked off that mower, and so that way we can go through this ingenious design that some Cub Cadet engineer came up with. So what I'm gonna talk about is how the Cub Cadet deck attaches to the lawnmower. Now it attaches by two points right here and right here. You can pull these back and then it shoots through and it, the deck hangs from two hangers right here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that as we went through, this is your deck adjuster on the left-hand side. But on the right hand side, there is no deck adjuster. And I swear, every lawnmower I work on has a deck adjuster on both sides. And there just isn't one on one side. So I think that is absolutely ridiculous. But it is what it is. Another faulty thing on this deck is that it's putting all the pressure on this one little point right here. And what does that cause? That causes these two brackets to start bending up. And when they start bending, it causes this deck to sag. And Cub Cadet decks, I've noticed, sag a lot. And I think it's because of these two pivot points are slowly bending back and forth. And the way you can tell is you can put a level on it. I like, see on this side here, it's not too bad. I mean, it is sagging somewhat, but when we look over here at the deck adjuster, look at that. I mean, this thing is bent. So what happens on the, especially on the deck adjuster side, is that you can see it starts leaning towards the left, which raises this pivot point, which causes that deck to sag. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this adjuster off. And it's super easy, it's just like what we showed you before, but we're gonna go ahead and take it all the way off. You just take this off with a half incher, like so. And so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to take it over here to my vise, and we're gonna straighten that out and just beat the crap out of it for a little bit. See if we can get it bent more cock straight, cock eyed. <laughs> Hopefully, it fixes it. <laughs> all right, gang. So, I took the bracket off, beat the crap out of it, uh, used a torch, all sorts of things, only to find out that the easiest way to adjust this bracket is to do it while it is on the lawnmower. This bracket is pretty dang flimsy. So, all you got to do is take a pry bar or even a big screwdriver and just bend it right there and push that down. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna do the opposite force of a deck. Because usually the deck is pushing that up. When you push it down, it's pushing that pin back down. And just do it until you get somewhat levelish. You can see right there, we're, we're kind of level. <laughs> Good enough for government work. So you wanna make that level and then come around over here and try to make that level and 
try to get those pins straight out. Okay, so we've got our pins straightened out. Next, I'm gonna slip underneath the lawnmower and show you what these pins actually hook to so you can understand the whole goofy Cub Cadet cabling leveling system. All right, so now we are actually inverted. I'm laying underneath said Cub Cadet lawnmower deck, hoping it does not fall on my face. So I wanna show you the actual lifting mechanism. What you have is these two bars right here. And those two pins we just showed, they slide through there, and then the other one slides through there. And these things are held up by a 16 inch wire cable. And it slides up there. You can see it's got a roller, roller, and then it slides up there to the actual lifter mechanism. And they're tied together. So that's another thing to check is these cables and make sure they're not ripped. I thought maybe they're stretched out. Uh, but they're not and they're only 10 bucks or so i'll put a link down below uh, just another thing to check yep and yes that is a 1980s astro bat from the astrodome which was and it still is the seventh wonder of the world ghost rose all right so with that let's go ahead and wrap this video up i think i've showed you everything i possibly can on this horrible deck system well, thanks to my yardstick and my Astros bat, we finally got this old deck leveled out. And I'll tell you what, bending that rod like I did over there, it fixed my deck sagging issues. I mean, this deck was dragging in the dirt. So just bending it at that pivot point really helps out. So if you're having issues like that, try that out. And with that, gang, I hate this deck leveling system, but it is what it is. If this is what you got, go ahead and make the most of it. But if you wanna really hear what I think about it, I've got a great video I'll post below that compares this whole system to a John Deere and you'll just see how, it's, how much better a John Deere is. I mean, this thing really, I rate it. A used 15 year old Cub Cadet, it's kind of like a functional piece of trash. You just want it to work. And that's all you're asking from her because the design is just absolute crap. So with that, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for the hard stick, Dr. Bob, super cool. And we'll do something fun next month or week or whatever. So with that, more mics out, bye.